Hey guys, I'm Sun. I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching a behind the scenes episode of the Privacy Guides. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, behind the scenes are episodes where I talk about the process of developing the Privacy Guides project, share creator insights, and kind of give you guys updates on where the project is at. Uh, these episodes are clearly labeled with a pink outline. So if you're not into those episodes, you can just skip them. Um, all right, so first announcement today, uh, I think I created an episode when the channel was at a thousand subscribers, perhaps one at 2000 and then radio silence. And we're now at 9,000 subscribers, which by the way, blows my mind. Our community has grown so much. It is so exciting for me to know that I'm not the only one who cares about privacy, that we're now over 9,000 of us. And that is, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, I, I, I'm speechless. This is just crazy. Um, so thanks to everyone who's part of this community. I hope we get to grow this even larger. The more we are, the more people learn about privacy and the more people rewire their minds about how they use technology. And that is having an impact together. We're, we're having an impact. So thanks for that. Um, next up the privacy matters uh project i'm not sure if you guys have watched the episode uh called sharing why privacy matters to you uh, if you haven't i really recommend watching it uh the privacy guides project has been a lot of me telling you guys why privacy matters to me uh, and clearly you guys care about privacy and i would absolutely love to know why privacy matters to you and i would love to blend all of your perspectives into an episode that we could then share on the privacy guides and hopefully share on social media as well to you know shed awareness to the fact that privacy matters. Uh, so some of you have uh, uploaded videos. This is done on sanutsun.com slash privacy matters. You just have to shoot a video with your iPhone. You can use the you know, front facing camera, record yourself uh, on Wi-Fi. You gen just click on that click and drag, boop, upload your video. And then I will blend all of those episodes if I receive enough of them. Right now, I've received two, which, by the way, thank you to the two of you who had the courage to put that video out. Uh, I know it's not easy to get in front of the camera and record oneself, uh, but I'm sure with all of your perspectives into one video, that will be a really powerful video to help many of us uh, share why privacy matters to our friends and family. So thanks so much for contributing to this project. Um, now, next up, um, while creating this new page here and creating that, you know, place where you guys could upload those videos, uh, by the way, I'm also a full stack developer. Uh, so, and by the way, the next few uh, moments will be a little nerdy and developer centric, but if you're not a developer, please stay tuned uh, to the end. Uh, Cause that actually really, really matters to people who are not developers. What I'm out, what am I about, whoa, what am I about, what I'm about to say. Jesus, son. Um, when we developers create technology or decide to choose a third party provider, in this context, I wanted to have an email when you guys upload a video because I'm excited to see those videos. Well, I wanted to get an email. Now, in 2020, the thing that we tend to do as developers when we want to implement email, for instance, is choose an email provider, a third party email provider such as Mailgun or SendGrid and just plug it in because they have really cool APIs. They usually have what we call software development kits that make it really, really, really easy for us developers and super convenient uh, to implement things that are harder uh, when done in a more sovereign way. Now, why am I saying this to you guys? Well, I'll give you an example. Say we create a web app that is privacy conscious that allows you to communicate with people or do things privately. Well, if we use a third party provider such as Mailgun or SendGrid to send emails, for instance, password reset emails, well, that is actually pretty bad when you think about it. That means that someone could go to them and intercept the password reset link and then have access to your account. Uh, granted, 2FA is not enabled, but you get the idea. Like as developers, we really have a responsibility when it comes to privacy and security, we need to protect that. And in order to do that in the context of email, I decided that I no longer wanted to rely on third parties, that I wanted to self-host my own email servers. And it 
is kind of painful to do, but with the right recipe, and that's what you guys have been following in the context of the privacy guides, it's actually not that hard. And this here, when you guys upload a video, I now receive an email that is uh, sent using my own mail exchange server and it's super empowering. So if you guys want to learn about that, if you guys are developers or technology entrepreneurs and you want to do things differently, you want to self-host more of your stuff, you don't want to just use Amazon Web Services, well, I'm planning on creating a series of content dedicated to developers and technology entrepreneurs and it will live on the Lickstats channel. Now, some of you know I have a technology startup called Lickstats. This is not the purpose of this channel to talk about that, but I do want to bring some of you in the journey of developing a technology company that is privacy conscious and that is what I'm planning on doing on the Lickstats channel. So if you're in for that kind of content, please smash that subscribe button. I'll link to that new channel in the description and a whole bunch of content will live there. And why does this matter to you guys who are not running technology companies, who are not developers? Well, it matters because us as developers, we're serving you. We have a responsibility to keep your stuff safe, to keep your stuff private. And you guys should ask yourselves, when you use technology, how are they doing it? Are they using third-party providers that may not be privacy conscious? Uh, anyhow, so all that said, um, 9,000 subscribers, it blows my mind. Uh, by the way, one last thing before I let you guys go, I'm having a hard time following up to emails, to all the comments that you guys are sharing on YouTube. First, I wanna say that the fact that you are asking questions, the fact that you are sharing your feedback, that you're sharing your opinions, that is amazing. That conversation is so, so very important. When you guys reach out by email, um, I try to answer to as many emails as I can. It is getting hard, I have to admit, because I would totally love to answer all of your questions. Like, really, I would love to do that, but that would mean essentially dedicating pretty much all of my time to it. So. I try my best. If ever you don't get an answer, it's nothing personal. I love each and every one of you and I'll try to answer as much as I can. I'm also thinking about uh, ways I could develop technologies to make that process easier. Uh, as a developer, I absolutely love Stack Overflow. It's a place where people can ask questions and the community can answer and questions can be upvoted. Um, anyways, if you guys, if you guys have ideas, uh, please share them in the comments. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get better at it. Uh, and, and I think that all of you guys can contribute as much as I can. So we kind of need a collaborative way of doing that. Um, all right. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, happy holidays to everyone who that applies to and happy, amazing day to everyone else. And I'll see you soon. Uh, take care guys. Bye.